Oh, look at that, I'm zooming into my eye. Look into my eye. Look into my eye. I don't know how well that would have come out, but it was worth a try, wasn't it? But, haha, he knows all about that one. What's the time, Mr. Bean? I used to love that. Mr. Bean. Rowan Atkinson was the nuts. Is the nuts. Um, it is the 22nd of the 10th, 09, and the time is 20 past 4 in the morning. I am planning to stay up all night, go to the laundrette tomorrow, come back, stay awake watch Saw 3 which is on channel 4 tomorrow night I'm so watching that they are some of the greatest horror films I've ever seen the Saw films without a doubt the most creative ingenious fantastic horror films they really are great I'm a huge fan of the Saw films I haven't seen 4 or 5 yet but number 3 in my opinion was definitely better than the first 2 if they improved on the first 3 then 4, 5 and 6 will be sick to say the least and I love the fact that they didn't really use famous people like Danny Glover's all good in that he's not as well known as say Tom Hanks or Christian Bale and Mel Gibson, Adam Sandler, Denzel Washington, John Travolta but he done well in that film it isn't Danny Glover who makes those films it's Toby Bell I believe that's the right name I hope it is if I'm wrong then shoot me in the foot I'm pretty sure that is his name yeah Toby Bell you know what, mate? What's up? What's this, this cat looking? Look, what's that? You know what, mate? You know what, mate? Toby Bell makes those films what they are. The script is great. Some of the greatest lines I've heard in films, to be fair. The first Saw film is bloody great because the end line is Game Over! And it's just like, oh, great line. One of the first lines you hear from that actor is, I want to play a game. Fucking cool is that? It's such a great line to any film, especially a horror film. At the end of the first one, like when I first watched it, I thought that guy, I didn't think he was alive, I thought he was dead. I thought what they thought and the fact that he just got up, the key to that chain is in that bathtub. It's fucking brilliant. Probably one of my favourite horror films of all time, but then I've got quite a few. American Psycho is one of them. Rob Zombie's Halloween is another one. Saw 3. But a lot of people say, oh no, the original's better. If you're going to make a succession of films in sort of six years which they've done they've pretty much made one every single year with the Terminator films they made the first one and left it eight years seven eight years then released the second one the only reason they did do that was because the public wanted it that much so they thought well why, why not we'll make money out of it let's make it so they did and in a lot of ways the second one is better than the first purely on the basis that Arnie in the first Terminator was a bad guy and he played that bad guy really well in a lot of ways in my opinion that's probably his be best acting role Arnold Schwarzenegger in Terminator 1 probably his best acting role and in the second one you know it just kind of gets a bit more relaxed and comical and not as serious as it should be in a lot of ways the second one is better for special effects other things but the first one is better because it's the original it's like the rocky films a lot of people say oh no the second one's my favorite the first one is the best film because he doesn't win it's not directed by sylvester stallone so it's kind of different in a lot of ways i reckon the first rocky film is the best one out of the lot rocky 5 was quite cool rocky 2 is good rocky 3 and 4 are okay but they're not they're not like, oh wow, they're, they was great films, you know, whereas Rocky 1, 2 and 5, you're like, yeah, they're pretty good films. The reason why I'm not speaking as loudly as I should be is because it's 20 past 4 in the morning and my name's in bed. So you'll have to forgive me if I come across as quiet or whatever it may be. But that is the reason why I am talking like this.